We're now going to take a look at the fetch execute cycle, which is run by the CPU to execute operations for programs. It basically consists of four areas of fetch, decode, execute and store. So in understanding the fetch and execute cycle, we split it into two parts, what's known as instruction time, I time and execution time, where the actual instructions are acted upon by the hardware and software of the system. So firstly, we'll have a bit of an example of what that is. So I time, okay, where instructions are received from memory and decoded by the CPU and E time, execution time, where program instructions are executed by the CPU and then process data is stored. So let's have a look at these four steps. We've got fetch, the CPU receives instructions from the system's hard drive or from a solid state drive and stores them in a register location, which is a temporary storage location on the CPU. We then decode where the CPU determines what components are required for the execution of the instructions, outlining parameters for successful execution. Then we have the actual execute, where the CPU gives the specific actions to the specific components in order to carry out the initial program instructions, processing the actual data, and then store, okay, where we actually get the newly processed data now and store it back in the hard disk or solid state drive. So let's look at this graphically. We start off with our I time, our instruction time, okay, which is basically getting the data from memory, okay, and decoding it. So we fetch, okay, and get the data. We decode the data and get the instructions prepared for what parts of the computer are going to be necessary in order to execute. We then have E time, okay, where we actually do our execution on the data and run the program, okay, and process the actual data. Okay, and then after the data is uh, completed, okay, we store it back in the hard drive or in the solid state drive. Okay, and then we go back to fetch for the next batch of data coming through. That's why this is an actual cycle. Okay, the CPU is always fetching data, decoding it, executing it, storing it, and then it goes back and gets the next piece of data and does the same thing over and over throughout the computer. So I hope this gives you a good understanding of the purpose of the fetch execute cycle in basically the four stages of processing data. So 